For the school-aged child, it's the freedom of summer. For the snowboarder, it's the adventure that winter brings. But for the Florida fishermen, there's one time of year that delivers unparalleled excitement. In the early fall on the eastern shores of Florida, millions of fish migrate down the coast. This salty phenomenon has led to hours of driving up and down the coast with the hope of landing a true beach giant. To the unexperienced, this fishery may seem simple, but over 96 hours, I experienced some of the most humbling fishing of my lifetime. Join me as I experience the highs and the lows of the enigma that is Florida's mullet rock. What's going on y'all? Welcome to another video. I have some pretty ambitious goals for this video. So, one goal I think is fairly accomplishable. I want to catch a massive snook off of one of these beaches, one of these jetties, one of these piers on a live mullet. I think that's definitely accomplishable. My second goal, I'm not so sure about, I want to land a massive tarpon off of one of these beaches, one of these tarpon that are chasing these giant mullet schools down the beaches. Wish me luck, let's get into the video. hearing about some mullets starting to show up up and down the east coast but i fish a lot so i had to go out and look for myself and see if those rumors were actually true i finally got out there looked around a bunch of beaches called some buddies and didn't find much of anything then i decided to try one last beach before i headed home to watch some nfl football right as soon as i got there to that last beach i noticed a massive school of mullet and i also noticed a bunch of stuff crashing on them so i threw my drone in the air because i just have always wanted to get drone shots like these and i think you guys have appreciated some of them already these fish were absolutely going nuts and it was just such a sight to behold such an awesome phenomenon down here on the east coast of florida okay got a little treble hook rig here got some mullet out in front of me i'm gonna try and snag one of these mullet Got me a nice live mullet. I'm gonna cast him out. He's tail hooked, so he swims away from me. Whew. Finger mullet are getting ran, son. Jacks are fired up on the finger mullet. I finally got on that school of mullet, and man, were they moving. These things were hauling down the beach. Pretty much, as soon as I would snag a mullet, I would have five to maybe 30 seconds to fish it and it seemed like the school was already down the beach and the fish were with them and really it was me snag a bait fish it for a couple seconds sprint me fish a bait sprint fish a bait sprint over and over again i literally left my buddies in the dust they didn't want to keep following the school and i found myself two and a half miles down the beach after just hauling butt trying to chase these mullet up, but it's the wrong kind we are hooked up to the man in the gray or the brown suit, whatever you want to call it. God, it's a black tip shark, spinner shark. There's been a lot of those out here. They've been eating a lot of our mullet. Getting cut off a bunch of times. I probably got him with the circle hook pretty good because he's still on right now. Wow, that thing is pissed. Angry animal, man. Angry animal. Shark! Yo, yo, yo! That's him! That was him, dude! Yeah, 
Yeah, mine's a shark. Ryan just got blown up on by a tarpon. Yep. I'll help with grab him. Thanks. This is a shark. Yours was a tarpon. Yeah, 100%. I watched. I watched it twice, dude. Huh? It was the same fish, probably. Yeah, he hit it like four times. Yeah. What do you have? Shark. I watched this shark eat it on top, y'all. Like, he just came up and smoked the mullet. This thing is angry. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Throughout my little run, sprint, hook a bait session, I had my mullet get sucked off my hook once or twice by Jack Cravels or Tarpon, jumped a Tarpon, and I think I got cut off by a shark or two. It seemed like I was getting bit, but uh, I wasn't having the best luck in the world. We got us a Jack. We got us a Jack Cravel. I saw the whole school riding in a wave right when I threw out my mullet. Not a bad little jack, a little eight, nine pounder. Oh, circle hook got him good. What you got, Ryan? Yeah. Got a slot? Probably not. There was a tarp that's sitting there following my bullet around, so I thought it would be fine if we ate it. But... You got the yellow fin tarpon. Grab him, Stephen. Yeah, definitely not a slot, dude. <laughs> you got a full grown one. Big fish, though. Yep. Beautiful snug. Nice overslot. We're in season now, but that one would have been way too big. Let him, let him go. Make more snook. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Look at the shark chasing oh, the snook. Oh my God. Wow. He got smoked. It's something. Don't know what it is. My mola got chomped. Ah, it's a little shark. Oh, it's crazy how these things are cutting through a hundred, man. Even with circle hook. We kept hooking sharks, but uh, we definitely weren't hooking the tarpon that we were after. That brings me to the next day where we had heard the mullet push down to the jetty. So we decided to go fish them off the jetty. And the minute I got there, my boys were like, get your live hole ready. We already cast it into a bunch of mullet. It was absolute chaos as soon as we pulled up on the jetty. I'll leave you here. No, but this is take the mullet hook him through the roof of the mouth fishing a J hook I go back and forth between J's and singles on what I like and what I don't like
breakdown for three days. Nice. Hooked up. Ate my mullet. Woo, buddy. That's a nice fish, whatever it is. Man. Ripping some drag. I get the net. Cool. Thanks, man. Choked that mullet. Oh, he's charging in now. Charging in now. Oh my god. Where's your line? You gotta bite on that side. You gotta bite on that side. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, walk with me. Do something. That's an Look, over let it slot. Go, man. Go Thanks, bro. Check this guy out. Man, oh man, that's Small a big skinny fish. Hooks. She ripped. I think it's long. Dude. Yeah, you can tell. Thanks, brother. You can tell these fish have been uh, been spawning all summer long. Cause she is all skinny. She is ready to eat some mullet, gorge itself. It's interesting because it's kind of like nature's way of fattening these fish up after they spend all summer spawning. But that's an awesome, awesome fish to start the day. Got to show beach bum that uh, they do actually exist. <laughs> but we're gonna, awesome. get, we're gonna get this big girl at least. And uh, maybe we'll catch a slot today. I'm fine if we're catching big girls, honestly. Cause that, that was an awesome fish. She ripped some drag. Do me a favor, y'all, and if you're in the market for some new apparel, check out the apparel sponsor, Navalis Apparel. That's the bamboo hoodie that I'm wearing. They make awesome bamboo apparel, and they support your boy. So if you need a shirt, pair of shorts, something like that, go ahead and check them out. Code Ryan Mori will save you 15% off at checkout. With the bike cooling off a little bit, me and my buddy Ryan decided to head down and try and find a different school of bait. And we actually found a school of pilchards, but we had some live mullet that we had netted earlier. So I was throwing a lure, but Ryan was fishing a live mullet, and Ryan hooked the biggest tarpon I've seen hooked this year. Absolute stud. Check out this footage. Oh my god, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a full grown one, son. That is a full grown one. <laughs> man, oh man. Hi, babies. How heavy a liter do you have? 80. Okay. About four foot. It's funny. I was making sure you weren't fitting like 40 or something no. like that. Dear Lord. I thought you had a shark, to be honest. No, the way it was when fucking. I, <laughs> when I saw it just take off, I was like, ah. Eh. And it finally jumped. Oh. See, my tactics aren't crazy. No, I know it's not. <laughs> You sacrificing your whole body out there. Ryan was like neck deep in the water trying to get his mullet in the right spot. It's a good fish, buddy. <laughs> there it is. There he is. I was wondering when he was going to do it. Go, son. I think that's heavy enough, or should I lighten it? I never lighten it, dude. Those fish will die on. I would never go lighter than that. 80 pound liter, that heavy circle hook, and we got the clock is running out. So I tighten it up a little? I would actually give it just slightly a little bit more. Like that? Yeah. I think so. You're not you're not putting that much heat on that fish. That's a big one, so. That, like, if you let that fish, you he will let you fight him for an hour, so you have to put some sauce to him. Ryan is hooked up on the biggest beach tarpon of his life. Really, really big fish. Would you give her that? A 
Hundy? I think so. He's right in this first start. That was sick. That storm is looking kinda nasty, brother. We're fighting against the clock of the storm and the sun. And Ryan's tarping. Pretty sure. Alright, well so when you when she think when you think you get close enough, what do you want me to do? You want me to me grab the rod and you grab the fish? Yeah, that works. Okay. You let me know when you want to do that. Alright. Because I know this fish has still got some sauce left. Oh, there. yeah. So, after all that, Ryan unfortunately had that fish break off. There's a lot of reef at this beach and uh, it uh, got broke off. That fish just started hauling straight out to the reef line and broke him. But he was doing everything right. He couldn't have done anything differently. Just a big fish and sometimes they get away. That's why this fishing is so difficult and uh, it's really rewarding when it does happen for you. We're gonna get one this year, man. I'm just, this has been one of the toughest years for me to land one or at least even my friends to land one, but we're putting in the work. It is day two or three, not exactly sure where this is gonna fit into the video, but yesterday was a definite fail. But now we're on another beach trying to find more fish. So hopefully I'm able to redeem myself, maybe catch some big snook, maybe hook that tarpon that I've been chasing all year long. But I got Christina with me today. I'm gonna put her through the ringer. She is gonna be walking up and down the beach with me, um, carrying a bunch of stuff. She's gonna realize quickly that this type of fishing is not the most fun in the world, and there's a lot of work involved, but um, she was a trooper last time we fished together, so I'm hoping this time she just she does just- Hey man, pull down your mask. People want to know who you are. It's your boy, Juno Ryan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Victor, Ryan's best friend. Woo! And we got the man James, the myth, the legend. What's going on, The guys? guy that's actually going to catch any fish today. No, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Victor showed me up yesterday. Yeah, that was the first time. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Very <laughs> blind. Not the run. And we got the most famous girl on Ryan Moore's channel. <laughs> Ready to go. How dare you change your bathing suit in a video? Huh? How dare you change your bathing suit? So I'm rigging up Christina's rod right now. We are gonna fish her rod on the bottom with the idea that she's gonna be fishing for snook. So we got some 80 pound leader here, tie into a 6-0 circle hook. A little uni knot, and we're just fishing a basic knocker rig. This is what everyone's been fishing out here lately. And that's just gonna keep the mullet on the bottom in the area where the snook are gonna be. I'm gonna trim that tag in and then uh, tell Christina to hold on for dear life when we throw a bait out. You excited? Yeah. This is gonna this is gonna pull a lot harder than the last one that you caught. I'm just happy if I even get a bite. Oh, you're getting a bite. So we got the snatch rod. Hey, man. In case you were wondering, Vic, that's how it's done. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got a big old circle hook on this rod. 100-pound leader. I was hooking the mullet in the top of the tail yesterday. We're gonna go down here. Vic said he had good luck with this yesterday. And the main reason I hook him there is just so I can cast him further and get him to swim out away from me, out to where the fish are feeding. I was here earlier, gave Ryan the meat call, and it was going off. But it's kind of in the middle of the day now. Well, those fish are going off down there by Christina and James. Yeah, but just blew up. I should not have worn my flip -off. All right, so hold this uh -huh. and just hold it here. You're gonna grab it up there where I told you. Yep. Okay. And just try and keep the line semi-tight. Don't reel if you don't feel like you need to. I'm gonna snag you a bait, and then we're gonna hook you up on the other rod. What? I'm gonna snag you a bait, and we're gonna hook you up on the other rod. Flip this guy out here. Let it sink to the bottom. Wait till I feel the mullet. 
Uh, hit one there. Oh, hit one there too. He just jumped. Got some scales back. go stay on buddy whoa there's our little mullet for Christina come up here grab the bottom rod okay so we're gonna take this mullet hook him on the bottom rod here he's a little bit sandy we're gonna hook him kind of deep through the anal fin got that three ounce lead some 80 liter we're gonna chuck him out past where the molt school is. And the reason he's hooked in the tail, Vic just told me he's been doing this with good success. It gets him to swim away from the lead. So let that get down to the bottom. Hey, trade with me. Yeah, you do. Yeah, for real. Oh uh, no, it's just my mullet. Let me see. Here you go. Oh, well, you were on. Yeah. Here, 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 here. Reel it in. It's a little baby tarpon. Whoa! Reel, 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 reel. Well, I didn't think you had a fish. I literally told you I had a fish. What? You got a little baby tarpon. I didn't believe her, dude. Tarpon? Yeah, a little tarpon. There you go, Christina. Little tarpon. Oh, he's strong, isn't he? That's a big rod to be pulling on him. Vic, can you help her grab it? I'm gonna get the camera. Yes. Man, perfect hook set. Perfect. Whatever Beautiful. you did, do again. Yeah. <laughs> Christina's very first tarpon. I've been trying to catch a tarpon all year. And she just caught one on her first try. Look at me, Vin. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to grab him right where I'm grabbing him. In the mouth. Okay. Just like that. Now go underneath with the other hand. Let's get his tail out. This way? There you go. Just like okay. that. That is awesome. I know to hold it by myself. You are. Well, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Put him light, nicely in the water. Just hold his is head in the water. Flat? Yeah, we'll hold, hold it tight on the mouth. And let it... So I'm gonna have her Christina just start reviving this tarpon. So babe, just start walking him around in circles. Just get that water. <laughs> Just start moving them in circles, just like you are, yeah. Go a little bit slower. He's just gonna get some water through his gills, get him revived a little bit. Cute little fish, those smaller ones. She fought it really fast, so it's very, very green. And like I was saying... Can I let it go? No, not yet. Keep okay. doing that same thing. Go, move in circles. These fish under 40 inches, by FWC's laws, you're allowed to take out of the water. Take you out of your hands, right? So we took that one out, safely got the hook out, made sure we didn't get the hook in our hands or anything like that, and landed my wonderful girlfriend, her first tarpon. Good job. If you guys are finding this video entertaining or you like the video for whatever reason, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It does help the channel out immensely and help share this video with more people. So the name of the game with this is really finding the right school of bait. This time of year, you're gonna find mullet up and down the beaches, but it's not enough to just find a school of mullet. Really, it's you have to find a school of mullet and you also have to find them with feeding fish on them. And sometimes it might not even be the fish that you want. Typically, we're trying to find a school with big tarpon on it and big snook on it. Sometimes you only find one or the other, but pretty much the school that we fished this morning looked really good when we got there. There was big tarpon feeding in it, and you could see some snook mixed in. And then the mullet kind of just dispersed and I think went offshore. So right now we're moving spots, trying to find some more mullet, and we're basically leapfrogging each other. So I'm driving, Victor's driving, and James is driving, and we're all picking different beaches trying to find something that looks fishable. I keep seeing like a bunch of little schools of mullet, um, but nothing that's really worth fishing and stopping and messing with right now. Hopefully in the afternoon they kind of get together more and uh, like pack up really tightly. Um, that's really what we're looking for. Just ran down to the best looking spot of the mullet school. I'm literally looking at tarpon just turning their bodies sideways in this school, just munching on mullet, feeding on them. I can just see these silver streaks going through the water. And Christina's probably filming some of it. 
this is just crazy to see. This is like Nat Geo level stuff, man. It's so awesome. So, one of my favorite fish. And really hope we get a chance to catch one today, but just the sight of this stuff is like, it's something that a lot of people will never get to see. So I definitely feel special to be able to get out here and experience it. Definitely gonna fish hard over the next couple hours. Put ourselves in the best position to get bit. So it's really hard to get your bait differentiated from all the other ones. Because there's tons of mullet out here, right? Millions, in fact. So, oh my God, really big jack in there. <laughs> Millions of mullet out here. So I always try and fish my bait on the edge, underneath. Something a little bit different to try and get that bait different to get a bite. Because it can be one of the most maddening things as an angler to be out here with a million fish blowing up and a million baits and you can't seem to get a bite. There's a fresh mullet. Come here, buddy. That's a good one. Woo. These are silvers. This is their annual migration. Super, super cool to see. I'm gonna take him, do a little anal fin hook. This is a softer part of the bait, so I hook them pretty deep. But this does allow me to get them to swim away from me and swim out away from the school. come home at the end of the day with a bunch of fish and you may not actually land a bunch of fish but you stay excited the whole day because of all this activity in front of you there's so much going on so much like real visual entertainment and then you look back at the end of the day you tell your buddies it was epic and they're like how many fish you catch and you're like well i lost a tarpon hooked two snook got cut off by a shark and they're like so you didn't land anything you're like no but it was fun and it's really you just got to be there man you really do it's just such a cool experience such a unique thing and you know the entire world of fishing like there's really not much like this so just watch my mullet get destroyed on top by a spinner shark Woo! oh knew that was gonna happen that's pretty much all day all what i did yesterday all day long watch my mullet get eaten and then get cut off by a shark yeah you fished the mr light leader Just caught a fun size one. Yeah. Pretty little fish. Smoked his mullet. Awesome. It's so frustrating when you can see all these fish and they're clearly feeding, but there's one million mullet and you gotta get your one to get noticed. So it's tough. When we first got here, the mullet were like in the trough. So you could cast on the other side to the carpet. But now they're kind of just so spread apart that you can't really get your mullet distinguished. You can just stay in that. Yeah. Keep it tight. Christine is on. Pick that tip up. Pick that tip up. Let's go. Woo! What do you got, babe? It's a big fish. Hold on. Pick that. Keep that tip up, babe. Woo! This always happens if I leave Christina with my rod. Stop railing for two seconds. There you go. Yeah, on the big rod. Christina is on. What do you got? <laughs> this is the funniest fishing stance I've ever seen in my entire life. Nope. 
Keep reeling them in. Grab, grab the rod up here with your right hand. I there you go. Just sit down and then reel. There you go. <laughs> you know what you got? It's called a nurse shark. Are you serious? Oh yeah, I'm serious. Reel them in. It's not easy fighting them on the big rod, is it? Keep reeling. Pump and wind. It's right there. Oh, I know. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's not easy. There you go. Now, when I go down there, just walk straight backwards. Just try dragging him straight backwards by walking. There he goes. Yeah. Give me an update. How you feeling? Tired. Tired? It's been a long day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> been dragging you all up and down the beach, but you've been a trooper. You're fishing hard for a while. Now you took a little break and you're ready for dinner. I didn't feed you lunch or anything. <laughs> so this beach was, I don't want to say super productive, but we had, saw a lot of action. Probably the most mullet in one area that I've seen yet this year. Um, but none of us could really land a tarpon. So I think every single one of us jumped at least one. Christina had one eat her bottom bait, jumped off, just like the hook just didn't get into it. I was fumbling around with something. I got eight, wasn't able to get the hook in mine. James jumped two or three. Victor jumped two or three. We're just not able to really get the hooks in these things. Fishing live mullet, that's just a thing. Like anywhere you're fishing, like snook in the river. Sometimes they pop it, they don't get it all the way and you just can't get the hook in them. And then some days, the way the fish are eating the mullet, you get the hooks and everything. But today was just one of those difficult bites. We might go down, check a couple more beaches, or get some dinner, and then try this again tomorrow. But regardless, we're gonna keep fishing hard, and we're gonna try and land that big tarpon. At least one for the group. That is the goal. We're trying to get that one big one for the group. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to what should be like day number four. Um, <laughs> Not really sure how this video has panned out so far, but we're out here grinding. Still, I just pulled up and I see some mullet, but I'm not really seeing many fish feeding on them. Waiting to see if I see any fish feeding on these mullet, because if there's no fish feeding on them, I really don't want to waste my time fishing them. I'm going to throw the drone in the air and kind of check around this beach and uh, see if I can spot any different pods of mullet. And if not, I'm just going to hop in the truck and drive a good ways. After flying the drone a little bit, I got a call that there was a much bigger school of mullet south of me with a lot more fish on it. So I packed everything thing up and drove as fast as I could to where everyone was fishing. Alrighty, first mullet of the day. Oh my god, these guys just bringing stuff everywhere. We got Brad hooked up on a beast. Yeah. Number two, baby. Got a little baby. Is that baby snug? Something like that. Oh my god. Yeah. He's angry. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, buddy. That's a tank, son. Oh my god. That is a tank. Brooks on. Woo, buddy. Check that out. That, that is one fat snook right there. Hey. Roll, roller top hit me a little bit. Man, that's so sick, dude. I'm going to take a quick pick for you. Big girl going on. Woo! Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. That's about as big as they come. Yeah, man. About as big Ooh. as they come. The way she hit it, I thought it was a tarpon. Then Dude, she it turned around off. and ran right at the beat. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? Oh, what's that, man? Brooks on. The Put the nice head towards thing. me a little bit. Beautiful, Brooks. Nice. Is that her snark? Dude, it's going nuts right now. I'm going to get a bait out. It's too nuts. Nuts right now. Everyone's hooking up. I need to get a bait. Whew, 
it is going crazy right now. Unhook this bad boy. Doubled up, tripled up. Matt's in the background hooked up. Fish on. Spit it out. There we go. Nice fish on. Come on, buddy. Woo! Now he knows he's hooked. Woo! Angry. Woo, man. Felt. Finally got that thump I've been looking for. I've been watching everyone catch these fish. Just probably saw the biggest triple header I've seen in a long time. And I was filming, I was like, man, I gotta get out there and throw a bait. So I just caught this guy out here. Finally hooked a snook. First fish of the day for me. Not a monster like everyone else caught, but a good fish nonetheless. fish yeah I love these ocean fish y'all I love these ocean fish they're just gorging themselves on mullet right now trying to refeed after the uh, after the mullet run thinned them or after the spawn in the summer thinned them out trying to fatten themselves back up just a prime specimen probably you know 36 37 inch fish but super super happy to catch this fish we're gonna take her down release her all these big fish are females they're all the breeders, so we want to make sure, even though we, you know, we love catching them, we want to make sure that they go off nice and strong, off to make more snook, you know. Woo! I love when they're all spunky on mullet like this, man. It's awesome. Good job. Thank you. Sweet, Y'all, I do have to cut in here and say that this footage that you guys are watching is some of the most epic mullet run fishing that I've ever experienced. The amount of big snook chewing these mullet, seems like everyone is catching them sometimes. And it's just so awesome to see these big fish munching live mullet and just doing it with all your friends. It's just such an exceptional experience and it's not something that happens every day. So I just, I it may seem easy in this footage, but man, I'll tell you what guys, days like this do not happen often. Okay, we moved down the beach a little bit. This mullet pod basically, they dispersed, and I'm not sure if we are fishing a different mullet pod or we're fishing the same one, but we've moved down the beach. And I'm gonna throw another one out. Maybe catch one of those monster snook that I saw over on hook. Love that. Take this live mullet, cast this bad boy out. There we go, we're on, we're on. Oh, big snook, big snook. Big snook. Oh yeah, he's charging the beach, he's charging the beach. buddy come on in come on Woo, buddy that's a good one 
Man, oh man, look at that fish. Big shoulders on this fish. Munch that mullet. She's not super fat yet. She will get super fat as the year goes on, but man, that's sick. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Love to see it, man. Real quick, I will give you guys an idea of the two rods and reel setups that I pretty much need to fish on the beach during the mullet run. I have a snag rod. So this first rod, Shimano Tal Talavera, eight foot, something that I can cast far with. It's medium heavy action, paired with the Penn Authority 4500 and 20 pound braid. That 20 pound braid lets me cast really far when the mullet are far off the beach. The snag rig is essentially some 50 pound leader, strung through a treble hook and then tied to a weight. I have a two ounce here. I can cast this thing a country mile, as they say. I hope they still say that. I've been fishing a bunch of different rods and reels in this video, so I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of different ones. Pretty much what you wanna have is a eight to nine foot heavy action rod with a eight to 10,000 size reel. This one's a Saltiga Expedition 5500, but pretty much you just want something that you can fish 40 to 65 pound braid with, splice that to some 80 pound leader, and then rig it in two different ways. If you wanna fish bottom, primarily catch snook, three ounce egg right on top of your 7.0 circle hook, this one is a trocar. If you wanna fish on top, primarily tarpon, you're, uh, you're gonna to wanna to fish this without a weight. But that's pretty much the only difference. Two simple setups. The less stuff you carry on the beach, the better. So two rods is a maximum for me. Well, that was it. Do you have it? There we go. Double. Double! Look at that monster. Oh, man. Nah. Yeah, it's well over. She's got someone else's rig in her mouth, y'all. Look at that. We're gonna get that out for her. Double, boy. That thing is skinny. Super long, look. She's got someone else's rig in her mouth. There we go. Got someone else's stuff that you broke off. Bam, that, now oh, it's through your belly, but I cut the hook out. Bam, so now you are free, girl. Oh! Man! I went wrong for that, dude, I got it. Oh, I turned my GoPro on right at that minute, too. Oh, that was so sick, man. Beach ball. Dang it, what happened? What I do wrong? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> You're fishing a weight, dude. It's so sick. I, I lose I know what's in my future if this fish stays buttoned hey, is me way. getting my ass kicked oh, by this yeah. thing in the surf. One, 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 one. Yeah. Do you want me to slide your weight down the line? Huh? Oh, oh. oh my god! Woo! Oh my god! That's so sick. Man, you can't ask for more than that. Wow. That was uh, That's perfect. Yeah. I mean, I, I know you want to put your hands on him, but that was so man. Cool. If I would have tried to grab him right there, I probably would have got a concussion just from how strong those fish are. It's no, I'm talking from experience. You're, you're it's a happened big before. Too, man. Nah, it's not fun getting in the face by a hundred plus pound fish. Is he big enough or no? I'm gonna use him. Right. And hooked up on a shark. Ryan hooked up on a tarpon. And I got a nice little mullet. That's pretty much all I got in life. You ready to wrangle this thing? Yeah. Whoa! That 
Oh, sick, I got that. Did you really? <laughs> We have a lot of big swells today, and these swells will absolutely destroy you. So we gotta be careful when trying to land this tarpon. Tons of sharks out here too, tons of fish. Not the safest environment for landing on, but we're gonna do our best to get this tarpon landed in a, in a safe manner for the fish and for us. Yeah, what you wanted. She was pretty green. That was a very green tarpon. Good job, man. My man Ryan set the goal this year of catching one, and he finally did it. Off the beach. Not the massive one that you've been wanting, but no. you got one. We got one. More than I, me and Seven got today. Yeah. We got the shark, so. She got, she got hooked perfect, but. Yeah. I was so stoked for Ryan to finally land that big fish off the beach. I know he really wanted a bigger one, and trust me, I really wanted a bigger one, but man, this fishing has been Brutal at times and awesome at times. Fishing live bait is super exciting and sometimes can be really, really productive, as you've seen in this footage. But that is not always the case. So that's why sometimes you really need to just fish a bunch of lures. And if you guys want to see how to effectively fish a bunch of lures and catch some massive fish, I need you to do me a huge favor. Check out this video right here and I will see you guys over there.